Thank you for keeping his company time for the debrief to look into politics. And can you imagine a country under the leadership of Dr. Alfred Mutua as the president? That's the big question tonight. He just launched, launched his bid to become the president of Kenya and he will be vying come 2022 general elections. Would you vote for him? Does he fit? We dissect that in the next 20 um more minutes uh, with that and I'm um, speaking to political analyst uh, Cyrus Lito. Good evening sir. Good evening, how are you? I'm very well. Thank you. Now uh, we have been treated be with all manner of things and theatrics in the political uh, field and uh, just yesterday Governor Alfred Mutua launched his bid joining other people that we have known for quite some time like uh, the uh, bid of, uh, for Musale Mudavadi to become the president, the deputy president wants to be the president, he will be in the ballot, uh, so as we believe for now, and we do not know how uh, the nomination will be in the Jubilee House, but now we have Mutua, let's talk about the man Mutua, would you vote for him to be the president and in any case is he enough for Kenya? Uh, thank you for having me tonight. Yeah. And what I can start by saying is that uh, everyone is entitled mm -hmm. to being a leader in this country as long as uh, with regards to the constitution, uh, presidential candidate should be 35 years and above. So to that, first of all, I say he's in some man, he's able, he's uh, ready mm -hmm. uh, for the task as he put it. Uh, from what I've heard, or let me say from uh, the few people who have uh, shown their interest, mm -hmm. I can term him as one of the serious person who has uh, demonstrated that actually is ready mm -hmm. for that presidency or is ready mm -hmm. for presidential campaigns. Mm -hmm. Why am I saying so? He's come out even uh, to state it to the public mm -hmm. uh, using his own mechanisms, having a platform, calling for a press conference with uh, people seated, mm -hmm. stating that I'm going for this seat. The others I've just mentioned, mm -hmm. but for him he has demonstrated. Mm -hmm. uh, I can say right now, we are going to a campaign period. Uh, now that with the COVID-19 uh, numbers going down, uh, the Ministry of Health is, is saying we're still in COVID-19 pandemic. I don't want to <laughs> talk much about COVID mm -hmm. because I have a different perspective about COVID. Okay. So I don't want to contradict the government on COVID. Because one, mm -hmm. this is a, a national television. Mm -hmm. What I believe in based on that is not what someone else believes in based on it. And I don't want to confuse Kenyans. All right. Now, the I think it's an eight pages speech. Yes. Ilikuwa to speech. Yes. Not a manifesto. Not a manifesto. Based on what he said, yes. speaking of five million jobs, uh, speaking of not being uh, a captive of the system because he knows the way and seeing that he, he knows the switch to reboot this country, what do you make of the of that particular speech being not a manifesto just a bit to say what he wants it, it, it was a beautiful speech uh there's a there's a saying in swain that says uh, mm -hmm. every politician gives good speech they give hope but the problem is when we get to the office i don't know is having wrong people in place mm -hmm. or what, but those speeches are never turned into mm -hmm. action. Mm -hmm. If speech was turned into action, since uh, taking leadership from the colonial masters, this country would be very far. Mm -hmm. But the problem is, uh, I think uh, uh, our leaders come up with very beautiful speech mm -hmm. that uh, entices us, gives us that hope that you are going to move a notch higher from where we are today. Mm -hmm. But when we get to the office, mm -hmm. the problem comes implementation. Exactly. Now the question has always been, is it that we promise what we cannot deliver, mm -hmm. or is it 
we, pro we promise, mm -hmm. but the implementers are the ones that drill the implementation process. Because for production to take place mm -hmm. in any industry mm -hmm. or in any uh, manufacturing farm, we have those people who plan, mm -hmm. we have those people who make the plan, okay, mm -hmm. uh, a product, the end results. So the problem with our leaders is that uh, they take the planners, okay, mm -hmm. to be the, product, the, the production officers or the production heads. Mm -hmm. And this is a big challenge to us. Mm -hmm. So what Mutua, Mutua started, uh, let me say, has come out early. And for, 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 for him to succeed eh, or to make his plans true so that it cannot be like uh, the, the other governments that we've had, mm -hmm. especially the Jubilee government, mm -hmm. that promised us the studies, it didn't deliver, it promised us laptop, it didn't deliver, digital economy, it didn't deliver, you see. Mm -hmm. So he needs to have those uh, now production managers in place and say, after I have mm -hmm. uh, secured the office, after Kenyans have trusted me with the leadership, now this is what I'll do. Mm -hmm. And I'm telling the truth, 2022 is not going to be the normal songs or, uh, or shouting that we've always seen. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a defining moment for Kenyans because we've s we, we, uh, this 2012 to 20, this 10 year period eh, has been a psychophantic period mm -hmm. because we were promised heaven, but indeed we've been given hell by the Jubilee government. Mm -hmm. So what we look into right now mm -hmm. is having a good leadership with less politic. Because too much politic, less delivery of services. Mm -hmm. Why am I saying so? If you see the big four agendas, the 2017, the Jubilee ran on, were the very good agendas, mm -hmm. which have not been implemented. If the big four agendas were implemented, mm -hmm. then this country will be very far. There's a time I started and said, eh, if uh, you saw Kibaki when he took up leadership, there was politics during the first term. But now when he entered into an agreement with the, 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 the ODM side in 20, 2007, mm -hmm. you saw the, de the development were there. These developments were initiated during the, 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 the first term. Yeah. They were initiated. Mm -hmm. They were on plan. Now for him to ensure that these developments are fully implemented, mm -hmm. he needed to sit down and ensure, mm -hmm. let me have a team mm -hmm. that will see me mm -hmm. through this implementation. Right. And he secured it. But now, contrary to what we've seen right now, it is a lot of politic that Give, gives one inch nothing but sleepless nights mm -hmm. because somebody is sleeping on a hungry stomach, somebody has been sucked somewhere, jobs are closing, okay? Mm -hmm. So too much unemployment in the country, high rate of unemployment in the country. Even so if the, the, if the governor is, is very focused mm -hmm. on this, now he needs to have people who will sit down to draw the manifesto different mm -hmm. and people who will sit down to ensure implementation of his manifesto. All right. There's something he mentioned about the system. Um, he said he, he, he knows the system and he knows how to go around it. He will not be part of the, or be the captive of the system. How true is this? Because I, be, I know he has been the government years. He may know the system. But how will he make sure he is not the captive of the system, considering he could be amongst the only young people who will be vying for the positions, yes. and definitely, most definitely, he will work with the 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 legendary in this particular uh, position of politi of politics. I'm um, speaking of the veterans who have been there and the, the people who know the system. So, how is he gonna go around the system that he is, has aware of? Uh, we can never run away from a system, and we can never shy from talking about the system. It is something that exists. And you see, uh, if you, when an alligator comes uh, out of the water and tells you the crocodile is dead, mm -hmm. never doubt that story. You need just to go by it. Eh? Mm -hmm. 
uh, and if you try to confirm much about it, mm -hmm. you'll be haunted by other crocodiles mm -hmm. in the water. Right. Now, uh, all these people uh, have been in government. They know the government, mm -hmm. how it works. Mm -hmm. So when they come out speaking about the system, it's something they know. And it's not the first time you mentioned the, first the, time. the system. Yes. Mm -hmm. So this is something they know. Mm -hmm. They know the system is there. Mm -hmm. They know the system is the one that is drilling the implementation of agendas that the government has to fulfill the promises that it promised its own people. Mm -hmm. Now, when everyone rises up now to speak, and that's why I've told you, 2022 politics mm -hmm. is going to be a very different politics. Mm -hmm. Because now everyone is speaking about the that in the government. Mm -hmm. Everyone who rises up speaks about the debt in the government. Mm -hmm. And the failed promises. Okay, and the failed promises. Mm -hmm. So this system is the one that has failed the country. Mm -hmm. Because the system needs, it, 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 it is seated somewhere, remote controlling things, and it demands much, mm -hmm. okay, mm -hmm. from that. Then it denies the common monarchy what he or she deserves to get. Mm -hmm. These are some of the challenges we are facing. Mm -hmm. And that's why you see anyone who has been with the government mm -hmm. for a longer period of time will talk of the system. Mm -hmm. Because it is something that exists. Mm -hmm. And we can never shy away from it. Mm -hmm. And we need to be that system once and for all. Okay. And we need somebody mm -hmm. who has balls mm -hmm. to ensure that this thing okay. is defeated. <laughs> Alright, now, uh, speaking of um, political arrangements, yes. we know at the end of... Uh, of the things when people say I will be vying for presidency towards the end mm -hmm. they merge yes now I, I I want to I want I would like you to paint a picture for us now imagine uh, Governor Mutua and uh, the DP uh, Governor Mutua and the DP mm -hmm. one thing I can say is are, that right now they are estranged yes mm -hmm. One thing I can say, there are no political, uh, permanent political enemies. True. They are friends. Mm -hmm. And then when, uh, when somebody sits down on a table, when, some, when people of two interests mm -hmm. sit down on a table, mm -hmm. they discuss on how they are going to mm -hmm. share the leadership. Mm -hmm. So when that time comes, I believe they'll sit down mm -hmm. and discuss not their own interest, mm -hmm. but the future of the country, on how to rebuild the country. Mm -hmm. And I cannot say right now because we have so far, we have, uh, let me say, I put him to a first because on how he came out. Mm -hmm. Then we have uh, Ruto, mm -hmm. then we have Mdavadi. For I cannot he speak. That, even that, then then I I, I, he just, <laughs> you see, he has not come out boldly, mm -hmm. so I cannot term of Kibuda at the moment. Mm -hmm. So let me just have the three. Uh, for Baba, I can still put it. Uh, uh, here we cannot say because he still has uh, other plans that he needs to achieve and it is from there now we can know but for this it, the time will tell time will tell, time will tell. do you think if in, in any case if they matched do you think Mutua would shelve his ambitions and interest for this nation for him to accomplish that which he, he has planned for his time when it comes what I can say, uh, it depends on the negotiation. Mm -hmm. And uh, now, I uh, see, in many occasions, the question has always been, what are you bringing on the table? What numbers do you have? And that has always been the question. That has always been the question. Mm -hmm. Any time of a collision, mm -hmm. that has always been a question. W what numbers do you have? What are you bringing on the table? Mm -hmm. Okay? So that for me to let you lead. Mm -hmm. And anyone can share um, the ambition, okay? Anyone can share the ambition. You see, for example, if I can give an example uh, of American system whereby governors come and say they want to run or senators come and say they want to run for presidency, they go by the record. Mm -hmm. So it's high time we need to be sitting down and looking at the record our, 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 our leaders mm -hmm. have, uh, have, have, have set before. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, Looking at the 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 the, 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 the presidency of um, Tua, mm -hmm. uh, what we need to do is to have facts finding checks, whereby we get the facts on the ground. Mm -hmm. I know many people say about it's PR or this and this. There's nothing in Machakos that has been done, but there are things that have been done in Machakos. There are things that uh, Mutua has demonstrated that he has done. 
Now, when we try to put, for example, Deputy President and Mutua, okay, who stands a chance? For example, now, if Kenyans now decide, I think Mutua will be a bet at a better position. Why am I saying so? Because the DP has been uh, the Deputy President in the Jubilee government, and yet we've not seen any results, okay? That is the punitive government that you have at the moment, okay? Compared to, to Mutua, and then Mutua is a lesser devil. So are you trying to say in any case, uh, if things remain constant right now, if elections were to be held today, Mutua would you be? Yeah, he can win if he goes on well with his own plan. You see, one, I can say he only stated yesterday, he only announced to Kenyans. Mm -hmm. The only thing that is remaining is him going out, mm -hmm. okay? Now, from one area to another. And you see, what he did yesterday is one thing that has uh, given him a traversing ticket. Mm -hmm. Because now he'll be going around from one county to another county, mm -hmm. talking to Kenyans and telling them, this is what I'm intending to, this is, what I'm, this is my focus in 2022, and this is what I want you to give me in 2022. Mm -hmm. So this is, this is the road. So as he traverses the country, he also be meeting people, and I believe he's not going to come up with the manifesto at the moment, mm -hmm. because he needs traverse the country, mm -hmm. understand each needs of each and every county, mm -hmm. okay? So that he comes up with a very, the, uh, one of the good manifestos mm -hmm. that Kenya has never received. Mm -hmm. But not a fallacious ma manifesto, mm -hmm. a true manifesto that a Kenya mm -hmm. will buy and trust in 2022. Then he should also ensure he has a good team that will help him deliver, mm -hmm. okay? The, 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 the same manifesto to the Kenyans. So, as much as he has announced, now we need to see the steps he has in place. Right. We need to see his activities in place, okay? Because now, uh, he has decided, I want to buy. It's now there are two options. Mm -hmm. I go fully into politics and start campaigning, whereby now I delegate my responsibility to my deputy governor. All right, because Apparent now we are running out of yes, time. <laughs> he is a governor mm -hmm. with full responsibilities mm -hmm. upon his shoulder of Machakos. Right. Now he needs to relinquish some of the responsibilities so that he can now focus on this bigger, mm -hmm. uh, bigger cake that he has set before himself. All right. Uh, finally, and very briefly, your final recommendation telling us what is the position of the youth, because this is another promise, five, uh, five million jobs. Uh, what kind of jobs are we talking about? Is it to clean gutters and uh, slashing the grasses around? What kind of jobs do we expect as youth? And do you think Moto is uh, promising enough to deliver? If the youth remain complacent, and I've already said so, and I'm not going to revert to my statements, mm -hmm. I'm not going to change. Mm -hmm. If the youth remain complacent mm -hmm. with what they all are always given, that is what they are going to receive. No matter the kind of presidency you will receive, mm -hmm. no matter the kind of promises will be given, mm -hmm. the youths are psychophants, mm -hmm. okay? A number of them, majority of them are psychophants mm -hmm. who just are there to shout mm -hmm. and be given handouts. Okay. The youths are there to be used to do these shoddy shoddy jobs and get 4,000 per month. Mm -hmm. Let me say, like Kazi Mutani. Mm -hmm. These are some of the things that you should not be even appreciating. They should always be rejecting it. <laughs> All right. That is com com complacency. Because they sit there, <laughs> they are used, or mm -hmm. they used. I'm telling the truth. So they need to wake up. And they, they, they have been complaining. Others the promises so will come, <laughs> and I tell you the truth. Mm. No right. matter the government that will be there, mm -hmm. we shall receive small, small t jobs. Censors, we'll find a census. Mwezi moja, ulipo 15,000, imeisha hivo. The youths have been employed. We provided, we provided employment for the youths. Mm. Census, mm -hmm. uduma number. Mm -hmm. Oh, kazi so, uh, The youths are the problem. The, the youths are leaders. the problem. Not the leaders. Not, not the leaders. Thank the you so are much, Cyrus, for coming and uh, trying to put things into perspective into the presidency of Dr. Alfred Mutua if he wins the presidency. And uh, like you have heard, he says he believes in the man. And uh, that remains to be seen who wins uh, the 2022 elections when the time comes. Thank you so much for keeping us company. He has been my guest, Cyrus.
Carlos uh, Litra and the debrief ends there. I'll be leaving you in the safe hands of DJ TS Conway Mashariki. Keep it Y254. See you again tomorrow, same time, same place on Business Tuesday. Have yourself a very good night. My name is Dereva Hilary. Good night.